Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out-of-this-world story from our space. New knowledge is the most valuable commodity on Earth. The more truth we have to work with, the richer we become. Today on our space, we hear from those rich in knowledge. First, one must count their blessings. Am I crazy or has my mom lost the plot? Two-ish years ago, my high school sweetheart, wife of five years, together 15, cheated on me with her traitor at the gym. It's a tale as old as time, I know. I had no idea, so naturally, I was floored. And with the help of this sub and tons of therapy, began the long process of putting my life back together without her and moving on. Thank God no kids were involved. I miss serious relationship now, and things are going great. I haven't had any social media in five years, and thank God for that, especially during the pandemic. Cut to last week. I get a screenshot from a friend of mine saying, Isn't that your mom? Why would she write that? The picture is of my ex-wife and her affair partner celebrating their two-year anniversary, and my mom wrote, Happy for you, ex-wife's name, with a heart emoji. What the F? So, I thought about it for a bit, called my mom, and her explanation was that she wrote that, so she could forgive her and move on in her heart. I told her that is completely insane, and that it not only hurt me, it's humiliating. My question is, is that even remotely acceptable? I feel completely betrayed. Edit. Thank you for the replies. I appreciate every one of you. Small update. My dad called and he's pissed at her also. He said that my mom didn't know it was the same guy if that mattered. To me, it doesn't make it any better. She didn't know it wasn't him either. But that's beside the point. Update. Final two and a half year update. Not easy, but a blessing in disguise. The past two and a half years have been a whirlwind. Almost all good things. Lots of therapy, great friends to lean on, and an amazing woman have put me five years ahead of where I could be if my ex, wayward wife, never cheated on me. If you look through my post history on this sub over the last few years, you'll see that the road here has been bumpy. Over that span, I cut out a lot of people from my life. My best friend who turned out to be a serial cheater, a few close friends who wanted to sit on the fence, and nearly my own mom, to be determined, for trying to comfort my ex repeatedly. I've decided that if you cannot live up to my values, then I don't want you in my life. The relationships and friends I do keep now are stronger than ever. The first six months post-divorce were obviously the hardest. Developed an anxiety disorder that had never been an issue before. I needed medication to keep from having panic attacks at staff meetings at work. The dreams were horrible and non-stop. Dreams of me screaming at her, saying all the things I never got to say, calling her names, etc. I am generally a disciplined person, and that went into overdrive when I needed to keep my head on straight. I already ate well, exercised hard, and had hobbies, so that helped me get through the day-to-day. -day. I bought a poster and kept it on my wall with seven rolls of life and used that as my mantra to get through each day. I was discovering who I was as a person all over again, and I liked that guy. Once I believed deep down that, despite what she wanted me to believe, that none of this had anything to do with me, it wasn't my fault, and that although I wasn't a perfect husband, no one is, I didn't deserve this. I started to look at this as an opportunity rather than a tragedy. About five months post-divorce, my friends convinced me that because I hadn't been with another woman in 15 years, I should try out Bumble to casually date a woman and dip my toe in the water. For the record, that was a mistake. I should have waited at least a year because although I had made a ton of progress, I still had a long way to go. After two dates with a woman who turned out to have a very strong foot fetish, I matched with a beautiful young woman who wanted to go on a walk for a first date. We get it off immediately, which scared the hell out of me because all those things which I hadn't felt in 15 years started all over again, and I wasn't ready for anything serious. I told her as much, and she understood. Plus, I was planning on moving back to my home state across the country in a few months, as I had just finished grad school and needed a new job. Long story short, we got married last month. We bought a house together. I got the job I went back to school for. Life is great. I got off the anxiety meds over a year ago. They also caused AD, which sucked. None of this would have been possible if my ex-wayward wife never cheated on me. She had a boat anchor. Six figures of college debt that would have excluded us from buying a house. She still pops up in my head from time to time. When Google Photos decides I need to remember a day from five years ago or something. I've turned it off. It doesn't stop. I don't get angry anymore about it. I pity her. I pity the old guy of Fair Parter, who I think she's still with because I heard she went back to school to take on more debt. 
I wasn't unhappy in my old life. Everything was going well. But my new life is still immensely better in every way. It took a lot of hard work to get where I am today. But it was worth it. Don't stop believing in yourself. You have value, even if you're wayward forgot that a long time ago. If you can get to this, you can get to anything and emerge a better person for it. Lastly, thank you to all of you. Without this community, I never would have gotten my head on straight. You all rock. A first reaction from the community is from the fixer 122456. What a great update. The path you took, while painful at times, does make you who you are now and makes your happiness that much sweeter. Next comment from Rubik's Eft. Congratulations on your new life. Expect at some point your ex-wife will learn of your job and your wife and she will reach out to you. You may think that unlikely. When her debt becomes a problem, when her man cheats on her, or she cheats on him, life will become complicated and she will be looking for safe harbor. The OP replies to this. My favorite part about this is that they are doing long distance while she is in school. I love the idea of them trusting each other from hours away. I think your mom had the red intentions by forgiving your ex so she could move on in her heart, but at the same time, OP, her addressing that publicly wasn't so inappropriate. Your mom could have forgiven her silently or by sending her a private message. I can understand how that would be humiliating for you, and you're absolutely right that the road of healing is a bumpy, messy, and extremely difficult one. It's hard to have to analyze, go inwards, ask yourself hard questions, and try to come out of it alive. Change is hard and scary, especially when we're blindsided by it. But we come out of it as stronger individuals, OP. It's unfortunate that life had to take that turn for you, but I'm so happy to hear that you're loving your best life now. Sometimes life throws not so great things at us, so we end up on the path that we're meant to be on and the people that we're supposed to be. Wishing you all the best on the journey ahead. What are your thoughts? If you've been in a similar situation, let us know in the comments below. But up next, to act without knowledge is folly. To know without acting is cowardice. Husband's friend is cheating. Five years ago, my husband cheated on me. He met someone else while away for work and left me for her. His best friend knew about it and even went out with them a few times. I had no idea as my husband would travel a lot for work and his best friend kept it a secret for him. My husband and I were separated for a few months and got back together. We have worked through everything and have moved on, but I've always felt weird towards his friend. I know that he owes me no loyalty, but it still hurt. A few weeks ago, my husband told me that his friend is cheating on his girlfriend and has been for a while. It makes me feel horrible for her. She does everything for him and even owns the house that they live in. He's bragged to my husband before that he'd got her just in time because she'd just paid off her house and so now he doesn't have to pay anything. And honestly, it seemed like one of the main reasons why he stays. Because she has money at a house. She goes above and beyond and he's never had a woman who does as much for him as she has. I've known this man since we were five years old. He constantly makes fun of her and is always meeting other girls behind her back. My husband tells him that he doesn't want to know about any of it because he feels bad and guilty for knowing, so he changes the subject. Part of me wants to reach out to the girlfriend and tell her, partly because I'm still so salty towards him for not telling me when my husband was cheating, and partly because I feel bad for the girl. I feel like he's making her look so stupid, but I feel like if I do tell her, then my husband and his friend would probably know it was me. And I feel like I wouldn't be doing it just because I feel bad, but partly for some type of weird revenge. Should I just mind my own business and let it go? A first bit of advice from the community comes from Fit Acadia 8074. Birds of a feather flock together. Your husband and his friend are both scummy people for lying and cheating. Your husband for shielding his friend's cheating behavior and lying to the poor woman. If you don't say anything, you're just as bad as them. And if your husband retaliates, then he still condones cheating. The next bit of advice comes from Admirable Bit 8478. 100% tell the girlfriend. This will serve three purposes. It's the right thing to do. Let's be honest. Payback. Hopefully, end the toxic friendship your husband has. Another comment from Raging Chump. Your husband will 100% know it was you. So? That man is damn lucky you chose to reconcile. He is even more lucky that one of your very reasonable demands was not to cut off all contact with anyone who enabled the trauma he inflicted on you. Namely, his POS friend. And, in my opinion, this situation, your husband not voluntarily cutting this guy's off before, your husband being complicit in his friend's cheating, what does that say about your husband's moral compass? You know, 
that same one you are counting on? At the end of the day, this has zero to do with your husband, his friendship, etc. This is about you. Do you have a moral compass? Would you have appreciated someone telling you? Are you a hypocrite? Doing the right thing is easy when there are no consequences. You can choose courage or comfort. You can't choose both. I'm not exactly sure it's your place, OP, but perhaps you could plant some feelers and see how your husband would feel in telling his friend that he doesn't agree with what he's doing. If your husband starts creating those boundaries, remorse might start to eat away a little bit with his friend and it might encourage him to change his ways. I'm thinking his friend does it because no one has really said any different. No one is there to disagree with him. Once someone disagrees with him, it might force him to open his eyes to reality rather than living in his fantasy life. Although it would be easy for you to tell his wife, you also don't know the circumstances of what exactly is happening behind the scenes. She could suspect something already. These things have a way of working out and untangling in time. What do you tell the best friend's wife? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let us know what you thought of today's content in the comments below. See you next time on our space. Next time.